Your feel good breakfast show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Just sitting out here with a family as yeah. we do, you hey, know. Uh, speaking of which, what were some of your favorite ways of connecting with your family when you grew up? I, we, we had this thing in the morning whenever we woke up and had breakfast, we talk about our dreams. Mm. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Uh, we would always, at the end of the day, just speak about our day and, of course, the high points and the low points. Yeah, meals around the table, breakfast and dinner. Beautiful wow. stuff, mm. yeah. And, of course, in the modern day of uh, technology that we live in, there's busy lifestyles and multitasking. Parents often do find it very difficult and challenging to keep in sync with their children and their demands. Now this morning we're joined in studio by our regular parenting expert Nikki Bush to discuss this topic and gain some expert advice. Now early on this morning we spoke about the negative effects of parents operating at a faster pace than their children. Now we're continuing that conversation with our regular creative parenting expert Nikki Bush this morning. Nikki, very, very interesting topic as well. I think also very important for a lot of parents out there to hear. And you mentioned earlier on, I mean, the time spent with your children. I mean, that is absolutely important, but it goes much more beyond the time. It's the, the type of time that you spend with. Yes, so uh, you're in face-to-face -face time is in short supply. Yeah. Because often with busy parents where they only see their children say for an hour before school and maybe two hours after school, um, a lot of that time is spent doing stuff. Sitting in the car with your mm. children behind you, making breakfast, making the snack, making dinner. A lot of that time is not spent sitting across the table from your child or playing a game with your mm. child. And often during that time, because we have to get stuff done, we send our children to a screen. So face-to-face -face time is a conscious effort today to actually make eye contact with your child, mm -hmm. to actually make skin contact with your child is becoming quite a luxury yeah. actually. Wow. So be aware that your children do take time. Mm -hmm. I mean think about it takes 15 minutes to feed your child breakfast and mm -hmm. it takes 15 minutes to read them a story and it takes 15 minutes to get them dressed. In fact I think it's probably the thing that parents least anticipate when they are thinking and considering mm. having a child they have no idea yeah. how much time a child is going to take absolutely and it's something that's that, that i find very hard you know because i'm very busy I'm, I'm never there in the mornings you know i'm always out i'm busy working and i feel guilty for not being there so 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 how can i approach this i mean how can i kind of fix this reframe this to really make sure that i spend more quality time with my boys so there's the vietnamese zen master Thich Nhat han and he did this experiment where he had been compartmentalizing his time. This is my work time, mm. this is my exercise time, this is my time with my child, this is my time with my wife, and he cut and dust and spliced this all together. It was compartmentalized, mm. and it wasn't working for him. He was feeling guilty. Mm. And then he decided to reframe time and make all of that time me time. So whether he was working or with his child or with his wife, it was actually all about him. As okay. in, it was for him. He was benefiting mm. from everything. So it became a continuum as opposed to as, this as demarcated box, structure, box yeah. structure. And his comment was, the remarkable thing is now I seem to have lots of time. Um, <laughs> because everything is actually yeah. wonderful. Um, so it's about not, we've, we've got to give away the guilt. Yeah. We've got to transform that guilt into love. Yeah. So some advice for parents to do that is, Pause and play with your children from time to time. You know, it's a lovely way to slow down. And I think you probably yeah. do that brilliantly with your child. I can't imagine you don't do rough and tumble with him <laughs> yeah, and swim with him and throw him in the air. And, you know, that's how you engage with children. Mm. Um, so pause, play with your children. Ditch the devices when you're with your children. Mm. If you've only got limited time, hide your device. For 15 minutes or half an hour, just put it away so there's no distraction um, and no temptation because mm. it's tempting. Yeah. I read the most horrific story of a, of a mum who was having the most wonderful day with her child mm. and she just went to check some WhatsApp messages and her child drowned in the swimming pool. Oh, goodness because me. Because no, these things happen in, in an instant, mm. you know, and we have to be focused, we have to be present. Mm. And this is the biggest challenge for 21st century parents. How to be emotionally present while you're also physically present. Yeah. How to be switched on. And because we're not with our children for eight continuous hours a day, when you are with them, be with them. Sure, that is very, very valuable advice. Thank you so much, Nikki, for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. Makes me feel a little bit better. I'm going to approach it. I think it's about that, the way you look at your situation and scenario that can really change things for you.
Awesome. Thank you very much. And then also log on to Nikki's website, nikkibush.com. She's got a whole mountain of information out there for you parents. But I think the main focus here is take a step back, slow down, and spend quality time with your kids.